We're waiting the referee to signal the kickoff. We'll be underway with Big 8 football. Here we go. Kicking off is Mark Norris. Kicks off against the win, and his kick is held up. It's a very short kick. Hits at the 12-yard line. Nobody wants it. Finally, P.J. Mills picks it up. Gets dances his way up to the 20-yard line, maybe the 21, and tackle of the play by Cardinal Easter, who receivers left and right. Moore will be at fullback and out on the tailback. Tight end left, Alexander. Gift to Allen going to the left side. Hit in the backfield and thrown for a loss for three yards. Nice tackle by Tim uh, Middlestaff, who is a Kansas City, Missouri grandview youngster. And so the first play from scrimmage, inauspicious, beginning a loss of three. First break of the huddle. will go the eye formation again. And Jer that will be side by side backs this time. Allen at left half. Moore right behind quarterback Eric Moore. And the center second and 13. Eric Moore the draw play to Gerald Moore, trying to get outside left end. Gets a block. Cuts a field of the 23 to the 24. And pushed out of bounds hard on the far side. Just shy of the 25 yard line. Third down, shotgun formation. Need to go from the 24 and a half to the 31 for the first down. Backs Allen to his left, Jerry Moore to his right. Eric Moore backs up, lobs a pass downfield for Alexander. Incomplete at the 43. Good coverage by the defensive back. I believe that was cornerback uh, Clayton Baker, perhaps. Doing a lot more than you ever had. And uh, on that last play, of course, they were in the shot, but that's something to look for today. Okay, the Sooners have Brian Lewis back to kick for the University of Oklahoma. Against, or rather, with this win. That's the good news. Sooners on a fourth down play from their own 24 yard line. Taylor Wickersham gets the snap back in good shape. The rush is on, but the kick has gotten in the way. Not a particularly good kick. Take the 35 yard line to his right to the 39 yard line. Good coverage. A nice uh, tackle by Oklahoma and brought down by Taylor Wickersham, the center, and back to receiving the ball with the ball at their own 38. Kicking with the win. That was really a very short kick for Lewis of Oklahoma. Missouri first and ten at their own 38-yard line, as we said, traveling now into the win. And the quarterback is Corby Jones, Antoine Joss, the fullback, Brock Olivo, the tailback. High formation from the Missouri 38-yard line. Handoff goes to Brock Olivo over the right side. Not much for him. Maybe gets to the 39, perhaps the 40. And dropped initially by Martin Chase. Big Olivo, a two-yard pickup on that play rather than one. Olivo averaging four yards a carry. Got two on that play. Second down, eight for Missouri from their own 40-yard line. Johnson is the offset fullback. Olivo the tailback. Two wide receivers to the left for Missouri from their own 40. Second down, eight yards to go. Corby Jones, the true freshman quarterback, hands the ball off on the right side to the tailback uh, Olivo again. Cracks the 41-yard line. This game's no score. 12.09 to go first period, and Missouri with the ball at the 41-yard line on a third down play, needing to go to the 48 for the first down. Handoff goes to the left side, and trapped is Olivo, and he's dropped at the 43-yard line by Tyrell Peters. As a Good tackling on the play by Oklahoma. A hand up punter for Missouri is Jason Smith, who's from Ryan, Oklahoma. He's a walk-on, averaging 37.6 yards per kick. And from the 42-yard line in Missouri territory, waiting for the deep snap from Steve Haig from Brookfield, Missouri. P.J. Mills is the deep man. Plenty of protection. Gets the kick against the wind. Pretty nice kick. Coming up, taking the ball at the 25-yard line as P.J. Mills comes to his right. Ooh, he's hit on a nice tackle as he crosses the 25. One penny to the right. High formation, Rose at fullback, Gerald Moore tailback, Moore gets the handoff, trying to get outside left end, cannot go, makes a cut, but his tackle for a loss, and dropped on the play was Devontae Cross, the free safety junior, 6'4 and 205, and, the, and we have uh, perhaps an illegal procedure. Again, a fumble on the... The official indicating Missouri recovery. Oklahoma and I in... Uh, on the defense as Missouri has high formation. First down and 10 yards to go at the Oklahoma 23-yard line. No score in the first period. Wide receivers deployed. Hand off to Brock Olivo trying to get outside the right. He makes a nice cut. Gets across the 20 and goes to about the 18-yard line. That was a good cut. Missouri breaks the huddle. They're in the eye formation. At the tailback now is or Kenyatta Williams at fullback. The tailback is Brock Olivo. Wide receivers left and right. There is the handoff over the left side into the pile. Brent McQuazy on the stop as Kenyatta Williams pullback off the handoff. Short game from the 18, perhaps to the 16. Even more. Kenyatta Williams is out of the lineup and they'll go to the one back offense. Double tied in now. And wide receivers left to right on a third down play from the 16 and three yards to go at the Oklahoma 16. No score first period. Brock Olivo the only back behind Corby Jones. Jones on the option play down the line of scrimmage. Tries to cut, can't make it. Sooners do a great job and ridden out of bounds on the far side. Peters makes the stop along with uh, Brent DeQuazy. I think DeQuazy may have in first. And a loss of a couple of yards, it appears, from the 16 back to the 18. That's great defense. All right, it'll be a field goal attempt now for the University of Missouri. And they'll put the ball at the 26, which will make it a 36-yard field goal attempt. That'll be Mark Norris trying to get the ball is down. The kick is in the air. This is going off the north end zone, and it is good. He hit it. Missouri takes a 3 nothing lead. <laughs> Brock 
to left. Now we have the safety holding the football because of a gusty winds blowing from north to south, sort of swirling in this stadium, which is sunken a little bit below ground. Here's the kickoff. Line drive in the wind. Nice kickoff. Darius Johnson retreats, takes it in the end zone. He'll run it out to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, back to his left, up to the 30-yard line. Close to it and tackled by Derek Miller. 64-yard kickoff it was. By P.J. Mills on the sideline, a little twist to the left knee. Nothing serious, according to the doctors. Should be back, gentlemen. At the 30-yard line, first down, 10 yards to go. I formation for Oklahoma at their own 30, trailing 3-0. There's a fake handoff to the fullback gift to Gerald Moore. Gets by one tackler and cracks up across the 30 and gets some plus yardage. For Missouri suspecting the run as we've talked. Joe Love on the tackle. One of the linebackers. Long, but Missouri will do what others have done. An eight man in the box front making Sooners pass. Gerald Moore in right half. James Allen left half. The side by side backs behind Eric Moore. Second down a little less than nine from the 31 in Oklahoma territory. Three step drop. Eric Moore fires a pass caught by Michael McDaniel at the 35 and out of bounds immediately. He was hit instantly by Shad Chris and Bo Adams also protecting on the play. 0 for 1 on third down conversion thus far. Gary Nord said that we have made some changes in our offense, condensing our package in the passing game, and only five plays to be called this afternoon out of the passing game. Ball is in between the 35 and the 36, and the centers come up to the line of scrimmage with three wide receivers to the left, and Rose is the only back behind quarterback Eric Moore. A third down play, about a five, six, seven step drop pass, incomplete, double teamed at the 38. Incomplete, intended for uh, Michael or further for Gerald Moore. Back to kick the ball for Oklahoma is uh, Brian Lewis. Clayton Baker will be back to receive at the 20-yard line, waiting the snap from Taylor Wickersham, kicking with the win. Brian Lewis kicked it only 35 yard Low snap, it hits the ground, almost blocked. Fast I think it is blocked. And the ball, yeah, a flag is thrown. That was uh, blocked, and that's one of many punts this year that have been blocked by Missouri. As we said, the one-back offense, double tight end, and wide receivers deployed left and right. Reset with Jenkins wide to the left, which is the far side of the field. Corby Jones sees a four-man defensive front. Down the line of scrimmage on the option play. Now he backs up. He takes a pass, and he'll be wrapped up on a nice tackle by Robert Allen, who sacks him. He wanted to throw the pass off the fake option down the line of scrimmage on a great play by Robert Allen, his first sack of the year. Defensive leader here at Missouri. Missouri now goes back to more standard eye formation. Two wide receivers go to the right, including Reset New Jenkins, who's in the slot to the right. Montez Young also out there, and Missouri has the eye formation with tailback being West. Fullback is Ron James. And the gift of the fake to James. Or Corby Jones keeps the ball 50, 45, 40, and down to the Oklahoma 36 yard line. As they fake to the fullback, found a gaping hole over the right side. Chris Buck and Chris Burrows on the block, and Rod Henderson makes the stop from the 47 yard line. First down of the longest rush that Missouri's had today. Corby Jones, the quarterback, who is a true freshman, and as we said, the son of the running backs coach, uh, had, had a great option play that time, well executed. Offset eye formation for Missouri from the Oklahoma 36, Missouri leading three nothing. The handoff goes, or the fake handoff to West, rolling back to the left. Corby Jones wants to run her pass, will keep the ball, and is jerked down from behind on a tackle by DeQuasey. Brent DeQuasey from Midwest City makes the stop. At that, it'll be a gain of close to five yards as Corby up a second down play and three for Missouri. Leading three nothing, 5.36 to go first period. Wide to the right side goes Eddie Brooks, and wide receiver. Wide right to the left is uh, Martez Young. Double tight end, one running back behind quarterback Corby Jones from the Oklahoma 29. And they get to that running back into the line, and that's Devin West, the freshman. He gets maybe a yard, if that, as the sooner, sooner line center of it just nailed him. Robert Allen, perhaps the leading tackler there, and after the unpile, give him the yard gain speed. James is your fullback, and uh, West is the tailback. Offset eye formation for Missouri on a third down play. Missouri is uh, 0 for 2 on third down conversions. In motion from left to right is the wide receiver, and that's Jay Murchison. And here's Corby Jones, faking handoff, option play, keeps left, jumps over a tackler, gets very close to the first down lead. He may have it. The crazy and Peters make the stop. It appears close to the first down at the 25 and a half, 26 yard line on the near sideline. The linesman marks it. By short side of the field just to pick up enough yardage for the first down. So Missouri breaks the huddle, and they have. Uh, 
double tight end again with Stuvey and Lingerfeld on either end, either terminal, if you will, and West is the running back behind Corby Jones from the 26. Sooners faking blitz. Long signal count from the Oklahoma 26, first and 10, Missouri. Fake handoff, rolling back to his right. Corby Jones, he's hit, gets away from two tacklers at the 25, at the 20, and then rolled down by Broderick Simpson after he gets the 15-yard line. Boy, the Sooners had him tracked for a loss, but he got out of there some way. Corby Jones did, the true freshman. The tackles when they had him for a long loss. Now Missouri first and 10 from the 15. Four rushes for uh, Jones, 28 yards. I formation, fullback is Ron James. Devin West is the tailback. Two wide receivers to the right, first and 10 from the Oklahoma 15. Corby Jones keeps on the option play. Great blocking, 59 pitches out to the 11-yard line and written down at about the six-yard line by Anthony Fogel. Well, the Sooners have defended the option play well this year, but not in this first quarter of this game. Missouri known for the option. He was a very highly recruited youngster who uh, uh, considered Nebraska along with Missouri. Murchison wide to the right, double tight end, eye formation, tailback is Devin West, fullback is Ron Jaynes, in motion is Murchison from right to left from the seven-yard line. Corby Jones down the line, option play, cuts in at the seven, is tackled at the five, very close to first down, just depends on the spot. We have 2.46 to go first period. Sooners have not picked up the first down, and they have run. Only the ball is at the officially at the six yard line, but it's actually just inches away from the first down to five. Wide receivers deployed. Brooks to one side and Young to the other. Double tight end, one running back. West behind quarterback Corby Jones from the six officially. Jones, quarterback sneak. Oh, the offensive line just shoves him downfield easily getting the first down. That's what the crowd cheers for. He needed about an inch and got about three or four yards on the play. And Missouri, that Missouri lineup, Arthur, or Antoine Johnson, Ron James, and West all in there, the power eye style formation. It's a full set eye. Now they go to the power eye with James going right half back. Well, a very tight formation. Now they shift, and now we have a flag thrown. So be tight end right, Bill Lingerfeld tight end left, and the power eye formation. With Ron James at right half, the eye is Antoine Johnson and West. Quarterback Corby Jones, now they shift to the left in the backfield. The give, or Corby Jones pitches the ball, West catches it at the eight, and is tackled at about the six. That was actually almost a forward pass, even though shoveled underhanded. Travian Smith on the tackle at about the six yard line. So either way, Missouri gets to the five. Now Missouri breaks the huddle, wide receivers left and right this time, offset eye, and the tailback is Devin West. From the six-yard line, second down, goal to go in Oklahoma territory. Corby Jones is the quarterback. In motion is Brooks from left, uh, wide receiver left. Back to pass, Corby Jones. Good protection. He'll decide to run with it. Now he looks into the end zone, throws it, underthrown and incomplete in the end zone, intended for Eddie Brooks, the fellow that was in motion. So Missouri has no tight end, or actually tight end on the left side is Vic Faust, and with his shotgun, and one back behind Corby Jones. He gets the ball, he runs with it, he's hit the backfield, a great tackle. Great defensive play by Broderick Simpson, who nailed Corby Jones. They lined up as if to pass the ball for sure. The direct snap from the shotgun went to Corby Jones, and Broderick Simpson just, just nailed him at the 10-yard line for a four-yard loss. So now Norris had to try another field goal for Missouri as the Sooners put on a fine goal line stand. Looks for all the world like Missouri would go in for a touchdown. But that's the end of the quarter, and we'll do the field goal kicking in the second quarter. who had kicked only five field goal attempts all year coming in, will have his second attempt during the first half, ball down, kick in the air, and it's good, he hit it. So Norris for Missouri. Mark. We go, here's the kickoff from left to right. Mark Norris booms it downfield, Arias Johnson takes it five yards deep, actually fumbles it five yards deep in the end zone and touches it back and Oklahoma will have first down 10 yards to go. B.J. Mills and Michael McDaniel are wide receivers for Oklahoma. Mills back in there giving it a try. High formation, tight end on the right. Handoff or the fake handoff. Rolling left is Eric Moore. He is upfield and out of bounds. Couldn't quite stay in at the 21 yard line. Now Juwan Penny and Michael McDaniel are to the right. Tight end is Steven Alexander. Left side, high formation. Quarterback Eric Moore gives the ball off to James Allen. Over right tackle up the 22-yard line, 23. Got two yards that time. Heavy traffic all the way. Bo Adams on the stop for Missouri. Oklahoma 0 for 2 on third down conversion. Shotgun formation. Eric Moore will get the direct snap from center Chuck Langston. Moore backs up, looks to pass, throws up field. Caught by Alexander at the 33 to the 35. Fighting hard. 
and brought down by Bo Adams and Chad Chris after a nice catch and a good determined run for a couple more yards. And the Sooners have their first first down of the game. Going for receivers just have not been able to hit them. So the Sooners hit them that time as uh, Alexander picks up 13. Sooners first and 10 from their own 36. I formation. Handoff goes to Allen. Over right tackle up to about the 38 or 9 yard line. Tackle by Joe Love, the linebacker. Half time. Michael McDaniel wide right. Jawan Penny wide left. The side by side backs. Moore at fullback and Allen at left halfback. Eric Moore gets the exchange. Hands the ball to Moore. Trying to find a hole up the middle. Nothing there. Just simply nobody there except Missouri Tigers again and they have it at the 40 meet six yards on the third down here McDaniel and Juan Penny wide right shotgun formation from the Oklahoma 40 in motion is McDaniel and we have a flag I think McDaniel was moving toward was a 1983 on this field and it was the last grass field that Missouri had before this year Eric Morris two of four passing for 18 yards Oklahoma faces third and nine Third and 11, actually. Third and 11 from their own 35. Direct snap back to Moore. Gives to Gerald Moore. 40. Upfield to the 45. And breaks it almost to the 50-yard line. Great run by Gerald Moore. Oh, that guy can run. And right back to you. First down number two for Oklahoma at the Oklahoma 49-yard line. Sooners trading 6-0. High formation. Wide receivers left and right. Eric Moore gets the exchange. Makes the handoff. Looks to pass. He'll run with it. Nothing for it. He'll be sacked. He pulled the ball down, couldn't find his receiver, and he's thrown for a loss. Steve Martin gets credit for the sack. Back at the, the one receiver and not looking for his secondary receiver. Sooners break the huddle, and now in the game is Chris Blocker. He goes wide to the right. McDaniel also wide to the right. Ball at the Oklahoma 45, second down and long yardage, about 14. Handoff goes up the middle to Allen. He crosses the 45 and just runs into a pile. 46 gets a yard. Oh, on this drive. Chris Blocker comes from the near side. Michael McDaniel to the far side. Shotgun formation. Gerald Moore to Eric Moore's right. James Allen to his left. McClure is the center. Direct snap. Back to pass Moore. Short pass up the middle. It's caught. No game. Maybe got a yard. Pass toward the middle as the motion. They hope to catch the Missouri defense split toward the receivers and then bring back one receiver toward the line of scrimmage, hoping to catch him against the flow, and it just didn't happen. From the 46-yard line in Oklahoma Territory, Lewis that sees 10 men on the line of scrimmage. Clayton Baker back to receive the kick. Taylor Rickersham this time a low center, but he gets it, and Brian Lewis line drives it against the wind. Pretty good kick. Hits at the 20, into the hands of Baker at the 13, and tries to get through two or three tacklers. Martez Young and Eddie Brooks, wide receivers for Missouri. Johns is the fullback, or James, rather, and West is the tailback. First and 10 from Missouri, 17. Corby Jones gives the ball to Devin West up the middle. Gets to the 20-yard line. That's about all. Tackled by Broderick Simpson. And it's a second down play in seven with 9.54 to go before halftime. Missouri leading 6-0. Wide receivers, Young to the right, Brooks to the left. Double tied in, Lingerfeld and Stuvey. And the one back is Brock Olivo behind Corby Jones from the Missouri 20, second down seven. Center showing blitz. Long signal count. Now here's Corby Jones giving to Brock Olivo, trying to get outside left end. He'll never make that. He's talked for a loss by DeQuasey. Olivo tackled at about the 17. A loss the the three yards of the game on the previous play, and DeQuasey is very slow in getting up. IRL ends for Missouri. They have the ball at their 17, and it's third and 10 yards to go. 9.22 to go before halftime. Two of four and third down conversions. I formation. Gains the fullback. Olivo the uh, tailback. Wide receivers left and right. Corby Jones fakes the ball to Olivo. Looks to pass. Runs out of the pocket. Coming to his left. Throws a pass. Caught, I think, at the 28. But no, incomplete. He dropped it. It was at the 28-yard line intended for uh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And Gonzalez is injured. Six yards total offense. Down. Well, well, we'll go to Mark Matthew in a moment. Here comes the punt now from the toe of Jason Smith. And back deep is Darius Johnson to receive. The line of scrimmage is the 17 in Missouri Territory. Snap is on the money. Sooners rush. And the kick is sort of popped up. Good rush by the Sooners. Hits at the 45. Takes a Missouri bounce, however, in Oklahoma Territory. And rolls across the 45, rolling down at the Oklahoma 44. That's a 29-yard punt for Norris, and he is very lucky. His neck, gentlemen, and uh, they retaped him, put a little padding underneath the back of his shoulder pad. Should be back in there soon. And Derek McGee, the quarterback for Oklahoma for the first time today from the 44-yard line. 
Derek McGee has two wide receivers to the right. McGee rolling to his right, fires a pass. It's caught by McDaniel with the Oklahoma 48 to the 50 to the 45, and he's being wrestled down close to the Missouri 41-yard line. So that'll be a gain of 15 yards on the pass play, and Derek McGee on the money there. It's a safe pass because if the receiver's not open, he's going to throw the ball out of bounds or run with it offensively, and if the first down is any indication, he will do so. That's his 15-yard pickup and first down number three for Oklahoma. I formation. Rose is a fullback, two wide receivers to the left from the 41-yard line in Missouri territory. Eric McGee gives the ball to Gerald Moore, gets outside the right end, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Oklahoma on a 41-yard run by Gerald Moore. Great blocking by Carrello Conrad and uh, the entire team. Daughtry will be holding. Snap is high, ball is down, kick is in the air, and it is good. Sooners take the lead, 7-6 with 8.28 to go before halftime. Time out on the field. <laughs> Oklahoma was inept on offense until McGee came in and sparked him on that drive. Here's the high kickoff. Coming up to take the ball at the 10-yard line is Baker to up to the 20. Ball is fumble, and it's free upfield. Let's see a pileup, and it appears Missouri has uh, fallen on the, the kick. Maybe Randy Potter fell on it and slapping the headline. First down, 10 yards to go for the Missouri Tigers in their fifth possession. Sooners now leading for the first time, seven to six. Check the backfield. Corby Jones has gone all the way at quarterback. Ernest Blackwell in at fullback for the first time. And Brock Olivo is the tailback. Two wide receivers to the right for Missouri. Eddie Brooks and Martez Young. Tight end is uh, Linkerfeld on the left. Back to pass. Corby Jones lobs a pass downfield. Intercepted by Fogel at the Oklahoma 45. He comes back to left the 50 to the 45 to the 40. Fogel to the 35 to the 30 and then jumps down inside the 30. So Missouri went the long pass route that time and Fogel picked it off and the Sooners have the ball and the lead. Fogel has his second interception of the year. That was Brandon Corso at quarterback for Missouri who threw that interception. High formation for Oklahoma. Eric McGee, the quarterback. McDaniel on motion from right to left from the 26-yard line of Missouri Territory. Give it to Gerald Moore, right side 25 to the 20, and he's tackled on the far sideline by the shoelaces by Steve Martin, the nose guard. So Gerald Moore found good running room around the right side. Field as much as possible, whether receiving or carrying the football, so he has to live with that kind of injury. And the centers, <laughs> he doesn't seem to show it much, though. Ball's at the 17-yard line, a yard to go for Oklahoma at the Missouri 17. And James Allen now in the backfield. Flag goes down as the Sooners run. They're playing the line to pick up the first down, but flags were thrown on both sides of the line and it appeared there was movements. First down for Oklahoma number five, and they have the ball at the 12. Gerald Moore and Michael Rose are the two backs in the game. Wide receivers are left and right. McDaniel to the left, and I believe that's Chris Blocker to the right. Sooners have it at the Missouri 12. We have 7.22 to go before halftime. Oklahoma leading 7-6. The side-by-side -side backs behind Eric McGee from the Missouri 12-yard line. Long signal count this time. McGee gives the ball off. Right side, Gerald Moore. 10-yard line, 5-yard line down to the 4. And nice running by McGee as uh, the chopper, Daryl Chaplin, brings him down. Chopper's his nickname. Receivers left and right from the Missouri 4. Eric McGee marks out the signals. Gets the exchange, gives to Gerald Moore, right tackle, pulled down from behind after maybe a yard, only to the three. Needed to get to the two for the first down. It'll be third. particular play, they've gone into a huddle. Now Mills comes out of the lineup. So Oklahoma will have McDaniel as the tight end on the right. Steven Alexander tight end, or yes, three tight ends, what it amounts to. High formation, here we go, from the Missouri three. Eric McGee gives the ball off to Gerald Moore, over left tackle, puts the head down, and it's going to be very close, depends on the spot. Trying to get that first down at the two up. Again, the three tight ends. McDaniel tight end left. Alexander tight end right. Freeman on the wing to the right. Quarterback is Derek McGee. Gerald Moore left half and fullback is Michael Rose. From the Missouri two-yard line, it's fourth down. And uh, Garrick McGee wants a timeout to talk. Mark will take it here to call the play. We'll get back to you. Ball is at the three. Fourth down play and inches for Oklahoma. Three tight ends in the game. Very tight formation. Quarterback is Garrick McGee. Gives to Gerald Moore into the line. Hits a stone wall. And it absolutely just depends on the spot. Justin Wyatt on the stop. Missouri saying they stop the Sooners. And let's see if the officials agree. Depends on where they spot the ball. They may not even have to have a measurement. 
And now Gerald Moore is saying we do have the first out, so then maybe they will be in the chain, bring the chain. But sorry, trying to sound the. Very much, gentlemen. Two of Howard Schnellenberger's former players. First of all, Alan Douglas. While we have them, you say this is the same offense that you guys ran when you played. Well, it's the pro set offense coach brought from Miami, and uh, it's it's identical, and it's it's fun to see it in person again. You know, it's homecoming back in Louisville right now, and Jim and I chose to come here and follow the coach and, and follow his vision. How'd you like playing for Howard? It was an enjoyment. I, it was tough, discipline, but it, it's paid off. All right, back up to you, Bob. All right, the ball is at the three-yard line. The quarterback is, uh, see where this, no, it's uh, Corso. Brandon Corso gives the ball off to Olivo over left tackle, trying to get running room. Gets about a yard or two from the three up to the four, tackled by Tyrell Peters. Colin Rosenberg is there. Chase and Tanner with the tackles, and Trevian Smith and Allen defensive ends, and Rosenberg, Peters, and Simpson, the linebackers. Ball is at the four. It's a second down play in nine. Corby Jones went the entire first period, part of the second. But Brandon Corso threw that interception last time he was in. He's still in there now. Offset eye formation. Chains is the fullback. And Olivo the tailback. Wide receivers left and right. There's the fake to Olivo. Passing is Corso. He throws it incomplete. Almost sacked. A great charge inside as the Sooners almost tackled Corso. In the area, but it was going to be incomplete anyway. He's lucky it wasn't a safety. So the ball is at the four, and it's third down play, and nine for Missouri. Oklahoma leads seven six. Five defensive backs in for Oklahoma. Two of five on third down conversions. Brandon Corso, the quarterback. Two wide receivers to the right. Sooners showing blitz, and they break the play. Travian Smith and Tyrell Peters. First time, remember, we said he threw the interception, but the Sooners could not cash in on it. Offset eye formation. Wide receivers deployed. Long single count, Brandon Corso now retreats back to about the three. Mob pass upfield, caught at the 12 yard line by Olivo. He's at the 20, he's at the 25, and Missouri has a first down as Darius Johnson and uh, Tyrell Peters on the stop, about before he gained from the nine up to the 25. And that's the runner of the two, and they showed great offense early with the option, but now have gone to a passing game. And that's because of the change of quarterback. Corso is the quarterback, I formation. The fake to the fullback. Now the shovel pass inside to Olivo. Cuts up field at the 29-yard line. Picks up four from the 25 up to the 29. Tackled by Tyrell Peter. Down, and that's when uh, Coach Smith, Larry Smith, started experimenting somewhat. Blackwell leaves the lineup as a double tight end will be the formation for Missouri. Lingenfell to the left and Stuvey to the right. Only one running back, and that's Olivo behind quarterback Brandon Corso in a second down play. And six yards to go for Missouri. They're on 29. The fake to Olivo. Corso rolls back to his left. Good protection. Now he'll run with it. He cuts up field to the 30, 35, 40, and tripped up at the 42-yard line. And first down, Missouri. Again from the 29 to the 42. Tackled by Broderick Simpson. Go ahead, Bob. I'm not, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, on the national level, uh, well, we don't have time. We'll get them later. <laughs> Two wide receivers <laughs> to the left. High formation. Blackwell at fullback. Olivo the tailback. Missouri first and 10 from their own 42. Corso fakes the handoff. Back to pass, throws in the flat, caught at the 45-yard line, and knocked down on a one-on-one -on -one tackle. I believe that was Darius Johnson. Eddie Brooks made the do in games previous. In the Missouri Tigers, there a four-yard pickup on the pass as they put it at the 46. Now Arthur Atkins in a defensive end on the right side for Oklahoma. Again, the eye. The ball is at the Missouri 46, second down and six. Hand off to Olivo over left tackle. He hit, he fumbles, and the ball goes free, but I think Missouri has recovered it at the 46. Well, he was hit hard by Broderick Simpson. Ball went free, bounding out of that, but Missouri came on, Missouri on the right. Two wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Shotgun formation, third down play. And six yards needed for Missouri. Direct snap to Brandon Corso. The blitz is on. Flat pass is caught by Olivo behind the line. 45, 48, 49 yard line in Missouri territory. Pick up just three. Travian Smith on the tackle. And Missouri will be forced to punt. And Darius Johnson back to receive. Let's uh, see what transpires. Snap is on the money from Haig. And here's the kick. Nice pooch kick. A fair catch signal for by Darius Johnson. He lets it hit at the 17. Bounds laterally to the 15 to the 14 in Oklahoma territory. So it's a kick of 37 yards. 7-6 Sooners lead. Two wide receivers left. Shotgun formation from the Oklahoma 14. Rex snap. Derek McGee hands the ball to Gerald Moore over left tackle. Not much there. Gets across the 15. Tackled at the 17 by Tim. Sooners in a T formation with the side-by-side -side backs. Behind quarterback Derek McGee. Wide receivers left and right. McGee gives the ball to Gerald Moore over right tackle. Trying to break a long one on the run. Gets only a back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Again, Tim Middlestead makes the tackle, his seventh, second tackle. Oklahoma on third down conversions, two of six. Two wide receivers to the left. High formation for Oklahoma. Garrick McGee from the 17. Hands the ball off. James Allen spins in the middle of the line, gets to the line of scrimmage. 
deep snapper is Taylor Wickersham. Clayton Baker is man deep. Ten men on the line of scrimmage as Missouri tries to block it. So there's already had one partially blocked. Snap is on the money from Taylor Wickersham. Good protection. Line drive kick. A good one. Hits at the 35 and bounces past Clayton Baker. Let it go past him. Drives all the way down inside the 10. He gets it at the five yard line. Up to the 10 yard line. Running to the sideline. Out of bounds at the 11. A 77 yard punt. And Missouri, as Mike Treps predicted, was just touched the ball down. Sooners do not have a timeout to stop the clock. And Brandon Corso touches his knee to the ground. And that ends the first half. A uh, first half that saw the Sooners trail 6 0, get a two play touchdown drive of 46 yards. Kickoff coming from uh, Jeremy Alexander. Sooners lead at 7-6. Picked up only five first downs. Missouri got only six the entire first half. Here we go. Kickoff line drive by Jeremy Alexander. Skips at the, about the 14, and it's taken by Baker Potter right at the five to the 10 to the 15 to the 20, 25, 30. Breaks out the 35 to the 40 and out of bounds. A return all the way up to the 43-yard line. Sooners have just had an awful time with their special teams. And that time, well, Corby Jones started the game at quarterback. Let's see if he starts the second half there. He does. Corby Jones, and they have the I formation. Antoine Johnson is the uh, fullback. And Brock Olivo, the tailback. Two wide receivers to the right. Missouri first and 10 from their own 43-yard line. And here is Corby Jones on the option play down the line of scrimmage. He keeps the ball. He cuts outside. 45, 50 down the sideline. 45 and out of bounds in Oklahoma territory to about the 44. So he got about 13 yards on the on the carrying the ball it's where the option has been successful 13 yard run that time for corby jones and uh, as far as rushing he now has 10 carries for 41 yards ball is at the oklahoma 44 first and 10 i formation antoine johnson is the fullback olivo the tail that gets the handoff over left tackle he breaks out the 40 and it's wrapped up on a great tackle one-on-one -on -one by henderson well, he looked like if he had gotten by hitters and he could have gone all the way, perhaps. Brock Olivo, and we have a flag down with two yards to go. First and 22 from the Missouri 44. He go all the way down to the Oklahoma 34 for the first down. Eye formation, offset eye, actually, is Antoine Johnson's offset to the right at fullback. Two wide receivers to the right. In motion is Eddie Brooks from right to left. There's the fake to Olivo. Corby Jones rolls back to his left, and he trips and falls for a loss. He's mad at himself. He lost his balance as he tried to avoid a tackle from the Sooner outside. I believe that was an extra defensive back in on a second down play in 26 from the 40. Ball is at the Missouri 40-yard line. Eye formation. Antoine Johnson, the fullback. Brock Olivo, the tailback. Wide receivers are Brooks and uh, Young. Here's the give to Olivo over right tackle, and he breaks free at the 45. Don't know how he got out of there. To the 49, to the 50, down at Oklahoma Territory. Across the 45, he may have the first. Oh, he gets back to the original line of scrimmage at the 44. Good gracious. Kelly Gregg finally made yards. The crazy out, and Wendell Davis in. Missouri 3 of 7 on third down conversions. Two wide receivers to the left and one to the right on this play. As Missouri, obviously in a passing situation, the Sooners are faking blitz. Back to pass is Corby Jones. He looks. He comes, rolls to his left, and he's hit from behind on a great tackle by Arthur Atkins at the 45-yard line. That'll, that'll yard loss and bring up a fourth down at 11. Arthur Atkins did a great job as Corby Jones pulled the ball down. Right back into Atkins. Darius Johnson is back deep to receive the punt from the tall Jason Smith, who in the on the season averaging 37.6 yards per kick. Today, 37.6, the exact same figure. Snap is on the money. And here's the kick with the win. Darius Johnson will let it go over his head. It hits at the seven yard line. Bounce down inside the one and will be killed at the one, maybe inside the one. A punt up from the Oklahoma 44. 
down into the one. So that is a 43-yard punt. Emulates with the ball at the one. The Sooners have 99 yards to go. So lining up in the eye formation in the in the end zone actually is Rose and Gerald Moore. Double tied in. One wide receiver wide left. Quarterback is Eric Moore. Fakes the handoff to Gerald Moore. Long pass upfield for P.J. Mills. He catches it. And a great catch at the 35. And interference will be called as well. Uh, interference called on the cornerback, Shad Crisp. A great catch by P.J. Mills up at the 35-yard line, a 34-yard pass. Wow, letting the Sooners have their sixth first down. Beautiful play it was. P.J. Mills and Jawan Penny wide to the right. And the Sooners actually have three wide receivers out to the right side. Only one back behind the quarterback. Uh, Eric Moore at the 35-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. That's Gerald Moore behind Eric Moore. Here's Eric Moore rolling to his right. Gets a block from Gerald Moore. Eric Moore runs with it. 35, 40, up about the 43-yard line. And out of bounds, maybe the 44. He ran out of bounds right into the Missouri bench. Chased out by Daryl Chapman. So a gain of about... Suzanne Emily leads Houston 14-7 to in the third. That was a gain from the 35 to the 43. Eight yards picked up. Second and two, Oklahoma throwing 43, leading 7-6. High formation. Give to Gerald Moore. Over left tackle. Leans up for a yard. Short of the first down. Steve Martin on the tackle. Gets the play from the bench. Fullback is Michael Rose. Gerald Moore the tailback. Oklahoma 2 of 7 on third down conversions. Wide to the left is P.J. Mills. Wide to the right is Juan Penny. Tight end is on the right. That's uh, Stephen Alexander. Double tight end, actually. Handoff goes to Moore. Has the first down. Squirts up across the 45 to the 48-yard line. Nice blocking that time. Tim Middlestad on the tackle at the Oklahoma. Here's the situation. It's first and 10 Oklahoma throwing 48. 11.01 to go in the third period, and the Sooners leading 7-6. Michael Rose, the fullback. Gerald Moore, the tailback. Eric Moore, the quarterback. Wide receivers are Juwan Penny and P.J. Mills on either side. Eric Moore gets the ball, fakes the handoff to Gerald Moore, back to pass, decides to run, spins behind the line, falls down at the 44. Pat Ivey, co-captain on him, too, was in for that one play. Both Penny and Mills go wide right, puts Alexander the tight end on the left. Four-man defensive front for Missouri. And a shotgun formation on a second 15 from the Oklahoma 43. Eric Moore gets the direct snap. He'll run with it. Over right tackle gets a yard. Wow, that was a curious call. Steve Martin on the tackle. That was like an old single wing play, just direct snap. They're trap blocking on the uh, on the counter. So it's third down and 14. Oklahoma third down conversions, three of eight. Shotgun formation. Missouri has 10 men within a yard of the line of scrimmage. Blitz is on, passes up the middle, incomplete at the 48 intended by, for Juwan Penny. In and out of the hands of Juwan Penny at the Missouri 48, and it's fourth down Oklahoma. Score remains 7-6, Oklahoma 9-29 to go third period. And back to kick the ball is Brian Lewis for Oklahoma back deep is Clayton Baker. Ten men on the line of scrimmage. Taylor Rickersham, the deep snapper. Line of scrimmage, 39. Low snap, fumbled. And picking up the ball is Brian Lewis. He'll be swamped back at the 30. Maybe inside the 30 at the 27 or 28. Center is just unbelievable. Special teams play is just absolutely, unbelievably bad. Missouri has only two field goals in the game, and Corby Jones is a quarterback now. Let's see what formation they use. Two wide receivers come to the right. Montez uh, Young and Jay Murchison, both wide right. Murchison in motion from slot right to the left. High formation. Corby Jones hands the ball off to Brock Olivo around the right side. He's bumped out by Darius Johnson at the 26-yard line for a pickup of two. That was lead, seven to six. The ball is at the Oklahoma 26-yard line, second down, eight yards to go. Corby Jones is the quarterback. Now Murchison comes out of the lineup, is replaced by Frank Jones at wide receiver for the Missouri Tigers. One wide receiver, that's Jones to the right, and Young to the left, eye formation, Olivo top of the eye. Sooners have five men on the line, two linebackers, they're faking blitz. Corby Jones, option play reverse, goes to Frank Jones, gets away from one tackler, and now will be swarmed under by Beep Tanner. Martin Chase also helped out. So way back at the 36, and it's a loss from the 26 back to the 36. Boy, the Sooners did a great job check on that. And now DeQuasey out of the lineup. Missouri, three of eight on third down conversions. They have third and long here. Must go 18 yards on the third down play. Third and 18 from the Oklahoma 36. Shotgun formation, two wide receivers right, one left. The snap is back, good protection. Corby Joe's looking, throws down the middle, caught at the 21, but still not a first down. And it's a completed pass to Frank Jones. Toronto, Canada, wide receiver who tried that reverse a minute ago. Darius Johnson protecting on the...
In the 31, so it'll be about a 38-yard kick. It would be his third of the day, and it would give, give Missouri the lead for the second time. Line of scrimmage is the 21. They will spot the ball down at about the 29, which will make it a 39-yard field goal attempt for uh, Mark Norris, who's two for two today. Slight angle to the left, and he's kicking with the win. Snap, the ball is down. The kick is in the air, and it's long enough, and it hooks, and it goes through the uprights. Missouri gets the lead back by a score of 9-7. to seven. Here's the kickoff. It is high, even though it's with the win. A very bad kick at the 21-yard line. It's taken by Allen, I believe that is. He cuts up across the 25 and gets to about the 28-yard line. Oklahoma's offense has a chance to try to redeem itself here. First and 10 from their own 28. Cornerback is Eric Moore. High formation for Oklahoma from their own 28-yard line. Eric Moore hands the ball off to Gerald Moore, coming to his left, trying to get the cut. A flag is thrown as he goes out of bounds at about the 27. And uh, Michael McDaniel involved rather than Penny. And now the officials are discussing things with 7.23 to go third period and Missouri having taken. He is not. So both centers injured and Comer is the center. And Eric Moore is the quarterback. And the ball is back at the 17-yard line. Sooners must go all the way to the 38 for the first down. Eric Moore, a short run, now longer drop back inside the 10. Throws a pass up the middle. Overthrown. He had two men in the area. One of them wide open at about the th first down after that penalty. Laxton, a finger in the eye is the injury reported from the sideline by Mark Matthew. The ball is at the 17. And it is second down and 21 for Oklahoma. Direct snap back to Eric Moore. He looks. He throws up the middle. Pass caught at the 31-yard line. And twisted down to 33. It was P.J. Mills. And uh, the ball is at the penalty flag is down on the field as well. And it may be holding. That's dropped back. It's starting to crop up again at the worst possible times. Oklahoma has four penalties for 27 yards. But uh, in this particular situation, they started their own 28. They've lost 21 yards and penalties this possession they have second and 31 from their own seven high formation two wide receivers to the right Eric Moore delay play James Allen gets nothing maybe maybe loses the yard from the seven back to the six tried to go outside right in couldn't escape the clutches of Daryl Chapman linebacker if he'd gotten around that uh, corner he had some break myself third and 33 three for nine on third down conversions 33 yards to go from the five on a third down play shotgun formation and a flag is thrown just as the ball just before it was snapped and for the most part the remainder of the afternoon the ball is at the three and it is a third and 35 for Oklahoma under center is Eric Moore looks as though the Sooners just run a play to try to get some running room three rod receivers to the left Eric Moore on the draw play hands off up the middle rocking up across the five of the seven yard line the Oklahoma 28 following the field goal and kickoff and the Sooners went backwards Clayton Baker to receive the kick and now uh, Missouri has 10 men on the line of scrimmage Brian Lewis standing about a yard from the restraining line the ball is at the seven yard line in Oklahoma territory snap is on the money Lewis gets a nice kick against the wind high kick Baker comes up takes it the Oklahoma 45 to the 40 and out of bounds Good gang tackling there, a 38-yard punt, and a tackle made by Travian Smith, and we have a timeout. 9-7 Missouri. Ball is at the 39 OU territory. Fullback is now Ron Jeans. Reset New Jenkins on the game wide receiver. The handoff goes to uh, the tailback, and that's Kenyatta Williams. He carries the ball for the first time from tailback today, or perhaps the second. Brett Quasi on. They break the huddle. Check the Bill Lingerfeld is the tight end for Missouri. He is a junior, 6'4 and 240. He is tied in on the right. Wide receivers left and right, the I formation. From the 39-yard line, Corby Jones on the option play down the line of scrimmage left. Cuts in and is smeared by Barrow Tanner. Boy, Tanner wiped him out. Simpson helped out on the play. They combined for a great tackle there, and that'll be a loss of a yard. The 40, now Brandon Corso is a quarterback for Missouri. He's their passing quarterback, remember. That's a third down passing situation, 11 yards to go at the Oklahoma 40 for Missouri. Missouri three for nine on third down conversions. They have three wide receivers to the right. All will be single covered, it appears. 
And the tight end is on the right side as well. Shotgun formation. Direct snap, Brandon Corso is high, backs up three steps, looks to pass, lobs one downfield, and it's caught, a great catch. And the flag is down at the 23-yard line. It may be holding on Missouri back to the line of scrimmage. And now uh, Tanner's jumping up and down. I don't know whether he's going to have a good play than two or three bad plays. Both teams have made so many mistakes, Bob. Missouri comes up the line of scrimmage. Two wide receivers to the right. That's uh, Frank Jones and Murchison, I believe. And offset eye formation. Jaynes is the fullback. Fumble on the snap from center. Brandon Corso falls on it. And a loss there from the 48 back to the 40. Six yard line or 45, so another mistake by Missouri. Is Sooners, when they had fourth down a minute ago, had fourth and forever, about 35. And Missouri now has fourth and 24. That tells you the story of this quarter. There's a kick with the win, the bad kick. Short one at the 22, but takes Missouri bounce downfield inside the 20 and will be killed at about the 16 yard line. The punter Jason small the backfield as they break the huddle. Michael Rose is the fullback and Gerald Moore the tailback. Three wide receivers left. As Rose goes in the slot left, Eric Moore rolls to his left, looks to runner pass, tries to turn on the speed, can't get outside. Good speed from behind is Demonte Cross. E.J. Mills and Jawan Penny both wide to the right. Second down play and 12 for Oklahoma is a loss of two. Was registered on that play from the 15. High formation. And they go off to Gerald Moore from the 15. Cross cut up sideline 20 and out of bounds. Let's see where he stepped out. The official says it's 22. So a pickup of seven. High formation. Third down play. Eric Moore gives the ball off to Gerald Moore. Hit in the backfield, thrown for a loss at the 17. Wanted to sweep right. Nice tackle made by Ramon Budgets, the Lewis. Bob, they pulled two guards to lead that play, and they were overpowered by the left side of the Missouri defensive line. Back deep to receive Clayton Baker. Ten men on the line of scrimmage. Sooners have had terrible time with the punting this year. Had one block today, and one never got off the uh, ground because it was a low snap and fumbled by Brian Lewis. This time it's low, but he gets it and puts the toe into it. Gets a nice kick away. And it'll be taken by Baker at the Missouri 43-yard line. Sparks chases him down and into a crowd. He's tackled at the 46. Okay, the ball is at the 46-yard line, Missouri territory. First down, 10 yards to go. Quarterback is Brandon Corzo. Offset eye formation. Corzo hands the ball off up the middle, and that's to Brock, or that's to Kenyatta Williams. No, Brock Olivo, beg your pardon, who had checked in. He gets the 46 to 47 before Travian Smith on the tackle pickup of just one. Quarterbacks. Corby Jones at quarterback. Blackwell is the fullback, and the tailback is Brock Olivo. Two wide receivers to the right for the University of Missouri from their own 47, second and nine. The fake to Olivo. Rolling right is Corby Jones. Short pass. Caught fumble. Dropped by Reset New Jenkins, who is in the lineup for Missouri for the first time in this game. 44 for the first down. Three of ten on third down conversions. Third down and nine. Two wide receivers to the right, offset eye formation. Brock Olivo the tailback, and Corby Jones the quarterback. Jones rolls right. Travian Smith chases him, and he gets the pass off complete to Olivo at the 45 Missouri territory. Tackle to the 48. Poor Travian Smith did a great job. He came in from defensive end, forced Corby Jones to throw it quickly. It was amazing that he could free, and Missouri, you would think, would want to punt it with the win, but the time runs out, and they never get the punt off with the win. Incredible. At the end of the third quarter, the score is Missouri 9, Oklahoma 7. This is... Here's the kick from uh, Jason Smith. Takes an Oklahoma bounce downfield, cuts back upfield for Oklahoma, and uh, only a 24-yard punt. At the 29-yard line, first down and 10 yards to go for Oklahoma. Throwing 29. Gerald Moore now at fullback for Oklahoma. Wide receivers, P.J. Mills in motion from left to right. Tight end Alexander on the left side. Back to pass is Eric Moore. He looks. He throws. Incomplete. The ball was deflected. It appeared. Nice defensive play by Brian Craycraft. A shotgun formation now. Two wide receivers left from the Oklahoma 29. Sooners trail 9-7 early in the fourth period. Here's the direct snap to Eric Moore. Backs up about three steps, throws a pass far side. That's caught by Juwan Penny and tackled immediately at the 45-yard line by Derek Miller. Oh, Sooners break the huddle on third down. Three of 11 on third down conversions. Three wide receivers to the right. That's James Allen, P.J. Mills, and Juwan Penny all out to the right side. Shotgun formation. Need to go from the 35 to the 39 in OU territory, trailing 9-7 of the Sooners. Center is uh, Jason Comer. Direct snap to Eric 
uh, and they pass, as far as the pass caught for a first down in the near side. James Allen makes the catch at the 39. A difficult catch it was, and Bo Adams makes the stop. Oklahoma's eighth first down in the game. Missouri has seven in the game. The side-by-side -side halfbacks, Moore and Allen. Eric Moore pitches to James Gerald Moore, sweeping the right side, jumps over a would-be tackler at the 43 and comes to the rest at the 45, brought down by Darrell Chapman. Second down from the 45. And five yards to go to correct ourselves. Side by side halfbacks. Eric Moore wanted to hand off the body was there. He keeps it and he's tackled after a one yard pickup. That looked like a busted play. Four for 12. Two wide receivers to the right, actually three, as James Allen, PJ Mills, and Juwan Penny all come to the right. Shotgun formation. Alexander tied in on the left from the Oklahoma 46 yard line. Direct snap to Eric Moore. He looks downfield. He throws. Caught at the 49 in Oklahoma Territory by James Allen. Same play that worked a moment ago. A flag is thrown after the tackle is made by Demonte Chris and uh, Cross, rather. And let's see what that flag is all about, Mike Trex. Well, well, Bob, the Missouri... Forced to punt as Clayton Baker goes back. Missouri leads 9-7 with 12-11 to go in the game. And Brian Lewis will be back to kick the ball from the Oklahoma 34-yard line on a fourth down play at 15. 12-10 to go in the game. 9-7 Missouri leads. Ten men on the line of scrimmage for Missouri, kicking uh, from north to south. That wind swirling a bit, as we indicated, maybe it's changing direction somewhat. When we started the game, this would have been with the wind, this kick. Beautiful high kick by Brian Lewis. Chases Baker back to the 20-yard line for a 46-yard kick. Comes to his left, to the 17, back to his right. Gets by two tacklers. Now it's tackled at the 28 or 29-yard line. Two wide receivers to the right eye formation. Corso, the quarterback now. Antoine Johnson, the fullback. Brock and Levo, the tailback. From the 29, here's Corso, hanging the ball up to Olivo, puts his head down, cracks up to about the 33, pick up a four, and it's second down six for Missouri. 11-15 to go in the game, Missouri breaks the huddle. Wide to the right side goes Martez Young, wide receiver, split left is Eddie Brooks, high formation. Here's Brandon Corso, handing off to Olivo, hole on the right side, 40, 44 yard line, Missouri territory. 11 yards he picked up. Now Missouri shifts. Offset eye formation. Brandon Corso from the Missouri 44 Sooners blitz on the play. Corso rolls left, throws the pass, incomplete at the 50. Brooks comes wide left as well as uh, Martez Young. Corso hands off to Olivo. We're left tackle 45, 50, 45, 40, down to the 36 yard line. Brent DeQuasi on the tackle, but not before Olivo went from the Missouri 44 all the way down to the Oklahoma 36 yard line. Missouri has Brock Olivo on the I formation. Two wide receivers right from the Oklahoma 36. Brandon Corso has the ball, gives a face to Olivo, though he gives it to him, and he's over the right side, 35, 33 yard line. Brooks comes wide left, Young to the right as wide receivers. Offset eye with Antoine Johnson, the fullback, Brock Olivo, the tailback. From the Oklahoma 33, Sooners jump. And seven penalties for 50 yards. And Oklahoma now on the defense on a second down play in two. Missouri offset eye from the Oklahoma 28-yard line. Brandon Corso drops back. He lobs a pass downfield, has a man, and it's overthrown and incomplete, and a flag is thrown. It'll be interference. Looked like uh, face guarding will be called on Oklahoma. Not face mask, but face guarding. Looked like the, the defensive player, Bush. Brooks comes wide to the left, and Young tied wide to the right. One running back, Olivo, behind Brandon Corso from the Oklahoma 13. Corso calls out the signals. Back about a three-step drop. B rush and sack back at the 17 or 18. Travian Smith gets the sack. Two wide receivers left now, Frank Jones and uh, Martez Young. And the tight end on the uh, left side is Vic Faust. Brock Olivo behind quarterback Brandon Corso. Olivo gets the handoff, he's hit immediately. And tackle for another loss. Davis sent for the uh, nickel back. Five defensive backs on a third down, 19 from the Oklahoma 22. Big play here, Brandon Corso, the quarterback. In motion, Frank Jones from slot left to the right. Here's Corso, a three-step drop. He looks up, he throws, it's incomplete at the 15. Maybe 41 yards, it's in between the 30 and 31. Waiting for the snap, the ball is down, the kick is in the air, it looks like it's off to the right. And out it goes, yes, it's off to the right. Whoa, just barely got there. They did not take a full timeout. We've had an incomplete pass on first down. Second down for Oklahoma. Eric Moore hands off up the middle. Gerald Moore, 25, 27, 28 yard line. Wide receivers, McDaniel wide right. Juan Penny wide left. Shotgun formation. 
OU is 4 of 13 on third down conversions. Eric Moore straight back to pass. Lobs a pass. Caught for the first down. 35-40. 45-50. 45-40. 35-30. That's Gerald Moore to the 25-20. 15 to the 10 to the 5. Touchdown Oklahoma. And no flags on the field. Here the center's going for two. They're in the shotgun formation from the three. They lead by 13 to 9 by four points. Going for two. Two wide receivers. Uh, to the right, the man in motion is James Allen from left to right. Eric Moore looks to pass, fires in the end zone, incomplete, no good. And here's the kickoff from left to right. Jeremy booms it downfield, caught at the 20 on a line drive, the 25 to the 30. That's a Stuvey. Jake Stuvey gets up to the 34, 35 yard line, a tight end who made the catch on a line drive. Three wide receivers left. Montez or Martez Young, uh, Frank Jones. And in the slot is uh, Eddie Brooks, three wide receivers left. Here is Brandon Corso, short drop, quick pass deflected. The shotgun formation this time with two wide receivers to the left and one to the right. Direct snap, Brandon Corso, flat pass intended on the far side, Brush defending, but it was way overthrown, intended for Eddie Brooks. It replaces Chase on the defensive line. Third down play and 10 from the 35 in Missouri territory. Waiting the direct snap, Brandon Corso, short drop, good protection, throws up field, incomplete at the 46. From uh, the six minute mark now, then Oklahoma will be back to receive on this fourth down punt. Assuming it is a punt, Ryan gets the snap and he indeed puts the toe into it. Nice lob kick. Darius Johnson takes it to the Oklahoma 23, fakes right, goes to his left, 25-30. Tackled at the 30 yard line. Two wide receivers to the right, McDaniel and Juan Penny. Eric Moore gives the ball over the right tackle. Ooh, nothing there. Gerald Moore just stuffed that time. Juan Penny left. Michael McDaniel right. P.J. Mills was injured slightly last uh, time he was in there. Rose at fullback. Moore at tailback for Oklahoma. The pitch to Gerald Moore going left. Needs blocking. Tries to make the cut. Cannot. And he barely gets to the line of scrimmage. Gets a yard, maybe two. The 30. Two wide receivers right. High formation. Rose and Moore. And Stephen Alexander tied in left. In motion, McDaniel toward the formation from the slot. Eric Moore rolls to his right. Wants to run her pass. Fumbles the ball. And Missouri has it at the Oklahoma 21. Montez uh, Young and Eddie Brooks both to the right. Eye formation. Olivo at the top of the eye gets the handoff. He's it just to get the handoff for a loss. Offset eye formation from the 24. Corso fakes the handoff. Rolls right. He looks to pass. He fires. Caught behind the line, though, by Olivo. And tackled maybe a yard gain to the 23. Stuvey is a tight end on the right side. Lingerfeld tight end on the left. Double tight end on a third down. Play an 11 from the Oklahoma 23. In motion is Murchison from left to right. Corso fakes the handoff. Corso back to pass. Looks. He throws. Incomplete. In and out of the hands of Jake Stuvey at the 13-yard line. Wide receiver to the left. And the shotgun formation. Corso will take the direct snap on a fourth down 11 from the 23. High snap. Corso gets it. He's back. He throws a pass. It is... Incomplete, I believe it is. Incomplete at the six, the Sooners take over. Darius Johnson protecting against Eddie Brooks. Team to nine, the Sooners lead. McDaniel and uh, Juwan Penny wide right. Moore and Michael Rose behind Eric Moore from the 23. Hand off to Gerald Moore, left side. 25, 30, 35, 36. He carried someone on his back. Wide receivers right, side by side backs are Moore and uh, Rose. Tied in on the left side. Handoff goes to Gerald Moore from right to left this time. Wants to go over left tackle. Not much there for him. Gets about a yard from the 36 to the 37 yard line. Two wide receivers to the right. Side by side backs are Rose and Moore. And here's Eric Moore. Handing the ball off the right side. Whoa, Gerald Moore retreats back to the 30 trying to get running room and loses seven yards. In the slot. Rose in motion from fullback. Eric Moore. Draw play to Gerald Moore up the middle. 35, 40, and not enough for the first down. Here is Brian Lewis's punt, and it's taken and fumbled out of bounds. And Martez uh, Young. Direct snap for Brandon Corso. He's back to pass. He's looking. He throws up field, and it's incomplete. Intended for Eddie Brooks. Direct snap back to <laughs> Brandon Corso. He gets out of what would have been a sack, throws a pass, and almost picked off. So the Sooners almost got the sack and almost got the interception. Two wide receivers left. Three of 14 on third down conversions for Missouri. Th minute 37 to go. Sooner show blitz, but do not blitz. Drep snap back to Corso. Steps up in the pocket. Looks up field. Fires it. Intercepted almost again. Right in the hands of Tyro P. Three defensive linemen for, for Oklahoma. Direct snap back to Corso. Looks up field. Still looking. 
Guy throws it upfield, and it's almost picked off again at the 35 this time. Rick Moore now gets his team under center. And uh, waiting the snap. Touches the ball down at about the 22. Clock running. Oklahoma will come out on the field as they don't need to touch the ball down. The clock running at 5, 4, Too many men on 3, the field, <laughs> 2, 1. And there's the end of the football game. The Tigers had their final Big A home game.